salutations, friends. It is I, said Stevie. Uh, woke up early this morning. It's uh, Veterans Day, so I don't have to work. Uh, shout out to all the veterans. Uh, much appreciated for everything you've done. But I also decided to, uh, like I said, wake up early this morning. And I know that the mountains have been getting some snow. And I figured I would drive out uh, the North Cascades and uh, come out to uh, the Diablo Dam, uh, Lake Diablo. And check out the scenery. Uh, just up the road here, I tried to, um, continue up a ways, and about four miles up, they've already closed the road down. Uh, not a ton of snow, but it's definitely, um, you know, there is a light dusting down here, but, uh, up, you get into a little bit more elevation up that way, and, uh, they decided to shut the road down for, uh, winter already so but yeah this is uh i think this is ross lake and that's the diablo dam out there or this is lake diablo i always get confused but uh, i'm actually gonna go down there um if i can zoom in a little bit i'm gonna drive down yonder and uh, I'll do a perspective coming up from this way down there But yeah, it's uh, it's cold out. It's about uh, 26 degrees and I forgot my damn gloves yeah, You can read that if you'd like But uh, so my hands are kind of cold um, Yeah Here's the uh, the signage out here You want to pause and read any of that goodness Thunder Creek watershed so just down the ways in around the corner is a pretty cool trail called Thunder Knob um, that I've hiked actually a couple times Haven't seen anybody out this morning. Anybody. Uh, for like the last... This is about an hour and 45 minute drive for me out here this morning. And uh, I haven't seen really anybody since I hit uh, Highway 20 um, out here. Well, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I'd say for the last hour plus, I haven't seen any cars whatsoever. It's nice and peaceful nice and peaceful um one of the reasons why i came out here because i thought it would be cool uh to try to capture some sound on one of the uh, knives i got uh to check out and that is the uh winter blades factor now i fumbled with this a bunch while i unboxed it but i've kind of got the hang of it a little bit but listen Just that noise that it makes. Yeah. Thoughts still to be determined on the factor. It's a cool, awesome, innovative knife, but I got some, I don't know, I got some thoughts on it. Uh, also in pocket, since it's Ferrum Forge Friday, uh, I have the Archbishop uh, 2.0, uh, one of my favorite knives love this thing needs a little TLC I've uh, carried it a bunch and I haven't cleaned it in a while and I can feel the action it's uh, come off center a little bit as well I never Loctited it after putting on these tie connector uh, uh, pivots but I just got some more tie connector uh, pivots in to put on a couple other ferrum forges so maybe I'll do a uh, ferrum forge knife maintenance uh, video but that's uh what's uh riding in pocket as well and then it is also 
um, Forest Hank Friday. So I got uh, my, this is my glow shroom, uh, Forest Hank. Shout out to uh, Brother Forest. Uh, what else I got on me? What else I got on me? Um, ah, look at this. This is my new jank that I got from Jack's Lungs. We got burlap micarta. Uh, I think he said it's G3 uh, sandwiched in between there. And then, man, he I asked him and then he told me. I think this is cross-cut Westinghouse micarta. God, I'm probably wrong. But uh, the finish on this is just ridiculous. And, um, yeah, I love me some burlap micarta. So I got that uh, pocket junk on me as well. Uh, I think Jake's going to be posting some stuff here pretty soon. Well, I accidentally paused, I guess. And then, um, I don't know if you can see him driving away or hear him driving away. But a, uh, yeah, there he goes. Um, a truck pulled in uh, to use the uh, restroom and I ended up talking to him real quick. And uh, any hoodle, though, but... Uh, yeah, he was saying that uh, ex they expect a lot more snow uh, coming pretty soon. But you can see, definitely got some good amount up in the tops of the Cascades, right around here for right now. And uh, I just, I like it out here. Look how the low clouds are just riding along the I didn't complete that sentence they're just riding along the lake so I'm going to continue uh, back down the road here and like I said, go to that part of the dam down there. Get a little bit closer up of that. And yeah, we'll see what else I do. <sighs> well, it has warmed up some. Uh, it's only 29 degrees out now, so. Yay, a little bit warmer. Plenty toasty in the truck now though, but I'm trying to see and I'm probably driving too fast to show them. But as I go past the cliff, yeah, uh, you'll see these are typically water running down, but it's all iced over to the left there. And um, it gets really, really icy on those face of the rocks as it gets colder and snowier out. Um, the wind whips through here so bad that uh, it gets super chilly. Thunder knob. So I'm pulled over. Here's what I'm talking about. They get all these runoffs get completely iced over. Actually sure that the uh, road to the dam is open. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, that's good, I suppose. Last time I was out here, there was like two feet of snow, and this road coming out here was pretty dicey. But. It's completely bare now. So when I was pointing at the last spot, I said I'm going to head down to here. 
Um, that's up that way now. And we are down, I am down, to where I was pointing, heading across the dam. Diablo Dam, as it were. Just parked. This is the... What does this sign say? It's the Seattle City Light Diablo Lake Workboat Moorage. Last time I was down here, uh, when it was super snowy out, I ran into, um, I don't know if they're otters or beavers or whatnot, but, um, yeah. Maybe we'll capture some wildlife out here. But... You can't see where the observatory is. It's back up that way. Um, or up that way, maybe. They do like boat tours, or like lake tours and stuff during the summertime, I think. You can go out on the lake and cruise the uh, coastline and all that. And, you know, real nice and quiet out here. Just the sound of the agua. I did the thing I didn't want to do, and I stopped it instead of pausing it. Eh, now that means I gotta edit. Yeah. Where'd they go? There was a bunch of there. They got a bunch of geese. But I was about to say, uh, it's also fixed blade Friday, and. In my back uh, pocket, I do have the some Stronza Blades uh, little EDC fixed blade here, uh, riding in this Lancelot leather uh, clip slip. Uh, much better than cardboard. Huh. Also got my Lancelot leather uh, friendship bracelet on, but yeah, you guys have seen this uh, before. This thing is gorgeous, and I dig it. It's legit, a nice little, nice little blade. I haven't really put it to task yet, but I have uh, been trying to get used to carrying a fixed blade, and it's uh, it's easy to do. This uh, it is a great size, uh, really. Um, I have had this in the back pocket today, but I can just slip it into my front right pocket and not very much uh, hangs out, you know, about that much, obviously. That's about uh, where it uh, sits down in my pocket. Can I get a shot of it? You can see that's about how much uh, hangs out and I am able to pull it out and then I can do it with the camera. I'm gonna stab myself. Can't do it with the uh it's hard to do camera, but I can uh, resheathe it pretty uh pretty easily. So yeah. I dig it, but yeah, it's a bummer that I stopped and now I'm gonna have to edit uh when I get home. But that's all uh I'm really gonna be doing today, folks. I might uh I don't know. I don't think I'm going to film anything else out here. I got some, I recorded some stuff for some shorts. Uh, but yeah, 
going to head back home. Um, let's see. It is 8.54 right now. So I'll be home by, I don't know, before 11-ish if I hit the, uh, hit the road now. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, now I'll, uh, I'll stop on the, uh, on the dam on the way out before I do see ya. Well, I did it again, I guess third time's a term. I stopped recording instead of paused the recording. Uh, it just is a pain in the ass to have to now go home, edit a couple of clips together, and then upload when, if it's just one continuous video, I can just hit upload. So, anywho, that's my bad, and it just takes a long time for it to render, so, oh well, such is life. But here I am, uh, this is the uh, backside of the dam here, uh, you can see it's not uh, letting too much uh, water loose. I have been here when um, it's it's pretty it gets pretty high uh, when they open it up sometimes, and uh, down there um, it's all underwater. You can kind of see the where you know it'll it'll get up to around that uh, area down there, you know. So pretty high when uh, um, the melt off, I guess, is what causes this lake to rise. Here's the other side. Uh, you can see it's, you know, it's pretty high. Echo! Echo! Ooh, what's the winter blade sound like with this little echo right here? I'll have to go back and watch it to just walking across the bridge, parked back over there. My phone is very secure on this tripod, but it still makes my uh, booty hole pucker a little bit dangling it over the edge here. That'd be some shit. That'd be some shit. Alright. That's all it's going to be. So now I will uh, wrap it up and appreciate y'all. Happy Veterans Day. Um, seriously. Uh, I am a son of uh, a bitch. No, sorry, mom. Um, but no, my mom, uh, my mother served in the army, uh, was a helicopter mechanic. Uh, my father also was a helicopter mechanic in the army. Uh, all my uncles were uh, in the service. A couple of my aunts were in the service. My grandfather served in World War II. Um, I come from a uh, family of uh, veterans. Uh, I did not serve myself uh, for a multitude of reasons, but I do have a lot of respect to all the vets out there. I know um, quite a few of you in the community uh, have served, um, and I've had some very close friends that served and uh, know of some people that uh, served and never made it back. So uh, absolutely uh, much love and much respect to all the vets out there and uh, appreciate you all and i hope you have a good friday uh, if this gets uploaded before uh, the end of the day um, and you watch this i believe me and maddie are going to do uh, late night with said faction uh, tonight and then tomorrow night is said stevie live so um, hopefully i have this camera pointed at a decent angle or else uh, it's going to be weird um, ending of the video when you don't really even see me i don't know how the uh how it's going here but anywho i appreciate y'all and until the next one i bid you mofos a deuces